All right, so you want to become a blockchain developer? You're in a good place. In this video, we are going to shape the roadmap for everyone who wants to learn blockchain development or solidity development and shape the future of the internet. So with no further ado, let's quickly jump into that and see how you can become a blockchain developer in 2022. To become a blockchain developer, first thing you need to understand what is the blockchain okay because if you want to develop blockchain application or web3 application you first need to understand the technology you're going to use so uh, to start with the blockchain development all i can advise you is to go on edx and get this course that explains everything blockchain how does the blockchain work uh, the two consensus, uh, the proof of work, proof of stake, and everything blockchain related so that you get that first solid knowledge about blockchain. So let me quickly show you the course and where you can find it. So here's the course on EDX and it's called blockchain technology. So uh, you just need to go to EDX, get, I mean, log in and come and get this course called blockchain technology. So uh, the course will explain everything you need to know about the blockchain technology and how the blockchain technology works. So uh, after getting, I mean, after going through this course, you will have a basic knowledge about how the blockchain works. And later on, you can start developing your own Web3 application after understanding the overall technology so after learning about how the blockchain works it's time to develop application on top the, of the blockchain and to develop application or to write code that will interact with the blockchain you need a language basically or mostly you will need solidity and solidity is the pre i mean solidity is the first and the main language if you want to develop application that will live on the blockchain i mean that will live on the ethereum blockchain or ethereum compatible blockchain okay so for this you need to learn solidity and a good resource to learn solidity is crypto zombies and crypto zombies basically it's a simple game where you be you learn solidity by building a game and i like this this way of learning because at the same time you learn too much knowledge and you learn by having fun, by playing a game, by developing a game. So let's quickly see where we can find Crypto Zombies and how to play with it. So here's the website of Crypto Zombies. You just need to go to CryptoZombies.io and you land on this page. And it says learn to code blockchain dApps by building simple games. Okay. So uh, you all you need is to get started. It's free as they say. You just need to click there and uh you just give it a minute we we have our i mean we have our roadmap and all our plan on how this game is structured so you have the beginner to intermediate smart contract so during this part you are going to build a game using beginner to intermediate concepts so going down the line you will get you see here we have get in depth knowledge and you have the advanced part okay uh this is the explore the blockchain ecosystem so you have to here they talk about some blockchain some blockchains like the binance smart chains and zero knowledge synchronous i mean zero knowledge sync and zero knowledge rollups so here you basically you get all the knowledge or all, all the basic knowledge about web3 or about solidity or developing using solidity so if you ever get stuck or there is a concept that you do not understand while building this game, uh, I would recommend you go on Solidity. Uh, I mean, the official docs of Solidity language. Here you will have everything you need or every concept you need and it well explained. You have a getting started. Everything about Solidity is on the docs. And uh, a good practice I recommend, I recommend is to always check the documentation because they are updates okay so uh you always need to check the documentation to see the new updates and see what has changed over time so uh <clears throat> after going through the crypto zombies and building the their game or and learning solidity on that docs 
of the solidity solidity um i mean in the solidity docs next step you'll have to do is to build project of course using solidity but now uh after, i mean we consider the smart contract part as the back end okay and one thing you have to know uh in while building smart contract or developing or writing smart contract everything has to be tested because a smart contract once deployed on the blockchain or the main net it lives there forever so you, you 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 need to make sure everything you do is tested before everything is tested before you deploy so for testing purpose uh you need <coughs> sorry excuse me you need um a test you need a testing i mean a testing framework or whatever you can call it so in the most use is mocha mocha and chai so that's what you'll be uh that's what you'll be using in most cases to test to test your blockchain applications or your solidity part okay and so um let me just look for chai here uh chai testing uh so right here you're going to see how to i mean how to test your blockchain applications before you develop them live and this is how you test your applications but i won't go deep into that because uh there is i'm preparing another next video where i'll be showing you how to build your first decentralized application so for the smart contract development you'll need a local blockchain to test your code so in this case we mostly use hard hat or truffle truffle and ganache the truffle suit has ganache as a local blockchain so here if you want to know more about them you can either go to hard hat uh you can go to hard hat and you'll find their documentation just give me a second i pull that up uh i don't know it's hard hat let me just let me just check this uh hard hat i th i don't know let me just check this hard hat rpc url okay it's hardhat.org okay and this is the hard hat configuration or the overall hard hat documentation so if you want to use hard hat it's up to you but in the other case you can also use um <clears throat> you can use truffle truffle with ganache uh we have truffle with ganache right here and ganache is also a local blockchain or a local environment that help you um it's here Qu quickly fire up a personal ethereum blockchain which you can use to run test execute um <clears throat> execute commands and inspect state while controlling how the chain operate so these are the local blockchain that you can use and they run the node run automatically or locally on your pc and you use them for development so after building the back end of your application next step you might want to do is to the next step you might want to do is to deploy your project and now how do you interact with your project or how do you interact with the solidity code you have created this is where the front end part comes in so uh if you want to develop full stack dApps or if you want to develop dApps you will need to know a little bit of react in most cases because uh in most cases a dApp is a front end and a back end and a front end is most of the time a web interface and we know uh, how react has been popular well in building web interfaces okay so uh all you need to do is to know about the api you are going to use because to interact with the back end you'll need an api so uh we have two two popular web i mean we have two popular apis to build or to interact with smart contract the first one is web3.js and we have ethers.js so we'll quickly go to their websites and see and see how their docs look like and to have just a basic idea let's start with web3.js 
to have a basic idea on how to on how to build using web3.js okay so here we have the we have the official website of web3.js and as you can see web3.js is a collection of libraries that allow to interact with a local or remote ethereum node using http ipc or websocket so uh this is just an api that you'll be using to interact with your smart contract and here we see a getting started uh, so you can go through the docs so let me just show you ethers ethers.js so that you get you get uh, a little idea about how they look like and you can go through the docs because one thing i like about the official docs of uh, a certain technology is that they always update their docs so if you check the docs you have the latest i mean you have the latest information about how to use that particular technology so in this case we have ethers.js and web3.js which are popular per now and so these are the ones you use to interact with your back end or with your smart contract so basically that's it if you have if you reach this level the only remaining part is for you is to build now dApps, okay to put in your portfolio and showcase your work and another step uh, to avoid tutorial hell, I would recommend to go in hackathons. Okay, we have so many hackathons nowadays in the Web3 ecosystem. We have you can go to ETH, ETH Global, they organize Web3 hackathons. We have the Chainlink hackathons. The, I think the Chainlink Fall 2021 is now done, but I hope they'll organize other, other hackathons. We have the Morales hackathon, I mean, the Morales hackathon going on and so many other hackathons too. The good part with the hackathon is that you get chance to network with other developers, okay, in the industry. You also get chance to build real world projects and deploy them. So that's why I would recommend go to hackathons, build projects, because as we know, if you come from a web through background, you only master something if you build so after reading the docs after understanding the overall ecosystem all you have to do now is to re i mean is to build project and by building project i mean you build really meaningful project that will help you get new knowledge and get new challenges so guys after that i think you can proudly say that you're now a web3 developer but one thing go out there build meaningful project for this new and decentralized ecosystem so guys that's it for this video thank you all for watching and i'll catch up with you in the next one